I'm Eric Camandera, Assistant Professor of Mechanical Engineering. I've been here since 2018. I run the Field and Space Experimental Robotics Laboratory. Uh, prior to this, I was a roboticist at NASA Langley Research Center from 2014 to 2018. And uh, several of my graduate students were previously interns working with me at NASA Langley. The primary focus of our lab is uh, using teams of robots to uh, do collaborative manipulation. Uh, we're very interested in um, the algorithms needed to enable robots to safely manipulate things. And so we're in this uh, area where we're interested in robots uh, collaboratively grabbing onto objects and planning motions to move them around. Uh, one of our major interests is in error detection and correction. Humans and animals sort of instinctively make adjustments as needed as they're doing things. Like they might bump into things and they're walking and they just account for that. They adjust their posture and move on or they'll, you know, if they're holding something, they'll shift it around, move it around. Um, robots don't do that naturally, and it takes a fair amount of effort to program them to do these things. Hi, uh, I'm Jacob Martin. I am a graduating master's student in mechanical engineering under Dr. Comandera. Um, uh, after this, I'm going and working for NASA Langley Research Center. Um, and for the past three years, I've been working on multiple projects, uh, one of which is this big crane behind me um, called the Lightweight Service Manipulation System. And it uh, is essentially a big crane that you can control robotically to uh, manipulate structures or um, do assembly tasks. So depending on the end effect you put on it, um, so the, the gripper or whatever you're using to manipulate stuff, um, when you put that on the end, you get to change its function, basically. So um, there's been use cases for 3D printing, there's been use cases for like shoveling, uh, moving around dirt, um, and uh, actually assembling structures. So picking up trusses and putting them together. Currently, it's a uh, single motor motion, um, and we can control it on a computer. And so next steps are controlling it via uh, remote control. Um, on a, a joystick and then implementing it into our autonomy setup which is the uh, camera system and our uh, server that we have.